Hey guys, it's Mike Sinclair here again with Team Viper Paranormal and you're watching another budget ghost hunting solution. Today I'm going to show you how to build an easy, easy, easy electronic EMF meter for 10 bucks. Unlike most EMF meters that give a digital or analog readout that you actually read the strength of the field, with this EMF device you're literally going to listen to the field. And what's great about that is you can tell what type of different field and different frequencies and how close you are to the field by the tone and the volume. Another cool feature of the EMF device is you can literally record your readings and data. Now before we get into how to build it and a demonstration, I have a couple quick announcements I need to make. In 2012, we're going to be doing a lot of new things with the Screen Freak 79 channel. We're going to be adding new shows and we've already started to do that. For those of you waiting for the vScope tutorial, I will be releasing that very soon. If you don't know what that is, make sure to check out that video. It's a new piece of equipment we're working with. YouTube has officially started the new layout here in the next couple months. Everyone is going to have it, so you may as well start getting used to it. Um, if you go to my featured page, and you can find that in the upper left-hand corner, it's going to say features, video, and feed, or, or something to that nature. If you click on featured, you're going to be able to access all of my playlists. I've got the new Ask Mike series where you can ask me anything about the paranormal or about me or the team, and I will do a video and answer that question in an upcoming video. Um, the budget ghost hunting videos, the tutorials, the para news show we've got it all here um, all the playlists are going to be on that featured page so just scroll down and pick one and make sure to watch all the videos so with all that being said let's take a look at how to build the new emf device here's what you're going to need first off you're going to need a digital voice recorder or something capable of recording audio that has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack you can also use a powered speaker, but you're not going to be able to record with that option. So I recommend using the uh, Sony or Olympus digital voice recorders, uh, one of the newer ones preferably, because they have a feature where you can plug headphones in and monitor live. Which brings me to the next item that you're going to need, and that's a set of headphones. Any type will do. You can use the larger ones. You can use the earbuds. It doesn't really matter. As long as audio comes out of them, it's going to work. And the last thing you're going to need, and this is where all of your cost comes in, because if you're a paranormal investigator, you've probably already got the voice recorder and the headphones, but you need a telephone pickup. Now, you can get these at Radio Shack. They're about $10, or you can order them online. Now, you've probably walked through Radio Shack a hundred times and looked at these and didn't know what they were. Well, they're used to record telephone conversations. They have a suction cup on the back that you put on the back of the telephone, and you can record conversations. But that's not what, we, what we're using it for. We're using it to measure EMF, and that's exactly what it does. It measures EMF and transfers it into an audio sound. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to take our probe out of the package and we're going to plug it into the mic input of the digital voice recorder. Next, we're going to take our headphones and we're going to plug them into the headphone port of the digital voice recorder. We're going to press record, put our headphones on, and now we're going to do a demonstration and check out some EMF. Now let's listen to some EMF. First we're going to check out the fan here. the EMF from the fan sounds like and we are recording this as you can see let's go over here to the computer monitor it's a bit different sounding sounds kind of like the ocean let's see what the TV sounds like a little bit different where's that coming from I believe that's that's the cable box. Let's see what this lamp sounds like. That's the lamp. And that's our printer. Not sure what we're measuring here. That's the com that's the computer itself. That's what the EMF from that sounds like. So as you can see, different things put out different tones and um, different loudness. And once you use this for a while, you'll be able to determine what's actually what type of EMF you're actually picking up and what type of frequency. Well, there it is. 
an electronic EMF meter that allows you to listen to and record EMF for about 10 bucks. I want to thank you for watching our videos. Make sure to check out all of our playlists. Um, make sure to subscribe for upcoming videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Spread the word about the channel. We're going to have a lot of fun this year. Uh, be sure to visit our website, www.viperparanormal.com, and vote us top paranormal site. Thanks for watching. Have a positive day.